Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. Kicking off today's episode with this reskin pack of the Mercedes 0405, the reskin pack by DV64 LMO and there are actually tons of reskins available for this. You can see here we've got a bendy bus variant but there is a standard non-bendy bus variant as well. I don't think we've got actually, do we have any British bendy buses available or did we prior to this? I don't, I'm not sure if we did. So obviously this would, this is like a, a London and colour I guess but it's still with the Areva branding but there are other reskins available I think the most recent reskin pack was the Midland reskin pack which is the one that's going to feature but it says you need to have subscribed to the UK pack which just contains absolutely tons but it's just it's a good looking bus you do have to subscribe to the Mercedes Benz 0405 base bus for this to work but yeah there's just loads of these available oh, there's a bit of a gap in that but I don't think that's the modder's fault a bit of a sharp turn for a bendy bus that isn't it but I think it's just good to have a bendy bus within the game. But there are others as well as the standard single deck bus, which is around here somewhere. And there's one over here. This is just one in the Areva colour scheme like so. So I think we'll go head straight into a depot just to take a look at these. Because like I said, there are tons and tons of the UK reskins of this available. So where about is the depot? It's here. So if you come down, you've got the standard Mercedes-Benz bus. If we go to passenger, that's probably a bit easier, isn't it? So the 0405 one there, 62 miles per hour, 250 horsepower, capacity of 15, and the Bendy bus has a capacity of 26. And then we've got the UK bus pack. So there's two packs within this. There's a UK bus pack and the Midland bus pack as well. So as you can see, Tons has three Bendy bus liveries. So there's an Arriva, a UK Arriva London, and a UK stagecoach Bendy bus as well but yeah tons and tons of those so i thought thought it was worth featuring because it's a pretty decent bus model and there there are just loads and loads of those available next we're moving on to what are we moving on to a train this is the class 90 and mark 3 reskin pack for the great anglia livery so you've got there the class 90 and the great anglia livery and the mark 3 carriages and dvt as well so the Reskin packs by Quince, you'll need the Class 90 piece by CW315, the Mark III DVT by CW315 and the Mark III's by Young Lennon. Just to note, you will need the older Mark III's because there are newer versions, aren't there? But you will need the depreciated Mark III's, the, the older ones, for this to work. Just for it to work, I think it's more for the DVT than anything. I had a little bit of trouble because I hadn't switched on the right ones. So if your DVT is not showing up, it's because you haven't selected the older Mark III carriages. So if you just, uh, just pause the game a minute. So you've got the carriages there and then you've got the DVT on the back in the Abelio, Abelio Great Anglia livery. So yeah, you can create your Great Anglia consist if you wish with the uh, Class 90 on the front there. Available from, when's it available from? 20, uh, 2012 it's available from, it's saying. So it's just a nice looking, uh, nice looking livery. Next, we've got three mods here for the price of one. We've got the new Class 37s, which got released just after I'd recorded my last UK mod showcase. So I'm about a week behind with this. And I know it's been uh, been a long time coming. People have been waiting for this eagerly. So yeah, we've got the Class 37s, well, the version two of the Class 37s, which have been improved. And we've got just been released the slugs as well. So the 37-9 variant with, I think, the re-engined and rear gearbox are a bit... Uh, a bit slower they're designed for really heavy freight trains iron ore or iron trains or something uh, on the back of this we do have a rake of the mcv plus mdv mineral wagons by cw315 and freelancer and the class 37 now we've got a few names we've got freelancer funk live cw315 and unholy fish who've collaborated on the the class 37 so yeah lots of uh, hard work gone into this and we're expecting a lot more reskins and different variants to become available uh, over the next coming weeks and months perhaps but the the slugs are already out and they're not really really good so if i pause the game i think we we'll just want to take a little bit of time to appreciate this because obviously it is the version 2 so i'm guessing it's got tons and tons more detail you just heard a little bit there of the and custom engine sounds but i think i will leave you with that at the end just so you can appreciate it without me talking over the top of it so yeah just taking a little bit of time to appreciate the class 37 or the slug version but i do have the others and then we've got these mineral wagons these are available from 1944 the mineral wagons and then obviously there's different dates on 37s i think the first one the class uh, the first one should be available from 
1960. I've put down in my notes, so yeah, there's the, the mineral wagons there. We'll take a look, at, obviously, in the depot at their capacities and such, and that's another, I think that's another slug, is it? Possibly. I might have put two slugs together on one consist. We will look for another one with just the standard 37s. There we go, so we've got a standard Colas Rail Class 37 there, again with another rake of mineral wagons. These have got the brown colour on them. And then what have we got on the back here? We've got a direct rail service one as well. So there are already loads of skins available for the Class 37s, but I think we're expecting more. And it just looks really, really good. All this springs, coil springs there on the suspension, is it? Yeah, it will be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just really, really highly detailed. If we just go back on it and then I think I, think I just unpause the game. Can't really hear it thrashing at the minute because we are kind of top speed. You can just hear the the end the, uh, the wheel sound more than anything. Might be able to hear it a little bit there. But like I said, I will leave you with this at the end so you can appreciate the uh, thrash of the class 37. Just taking a little bit more time to uh, to appreciate than I normally would because I know a lot of effort has gone into into creating these second second versions of these. So yeah, we'll go ahead and look in the depot and see what we've got. So we'll look first of all at the MCV and MDV wagons, which are not trucks. I don't know why I've clicked on the truck depot. They are cargo wagons. Come down here. We've got the, where are they? There. The MCV, capacity of a top speed of 60 miles per hour. They are early wagons after all, and they come in like a grey colour and a brown. And then the MDV, which has a slightly bigger capacity of 12, total top speed of 60. And that's the same, comes in a brown or a grey colour. And then moving over to the locomotive. So we have here the British Rail Class 37, the Mark II. And also you can see there's loads of skins available for this, or loads of liveries are rather available for this. Actually, I might, yeah, that might have been a 37 that I was looking at and thinking it was a slug, just because of the green colour color but yeah you can see there all the different color variations i might just gonna try and lift this up a bit so we can see some of the information obviously all the stats are going to be the same 90 miles per hour top speed 1774 horsepower 247 newtons of attractive effort for these ones so you've got plenty plenty to keep you going until more skins are released and then you've got the 37-9 slugs as well which apparently has every single livery that the 37-9s have ever worn so they're all they're available this one let's take a look 80 miles per hour top speed so slightly slower slightly more horsepower 1822 horsepower and uh, 283 kilonewtons of tractive effort like i said these were designed for real heavyweight freight so they probably i think re-engined and re-geared as well just to uh just to be basically pull heavier freight trains so yeah uh just before i finish and leave you with the class 37 i do have a correction not in ride uh, the houston building that i featured in the last episode there are actually three roof variants of this it just depends how how wide it is or how long it is depending on which way you look at it so if you take get rid of that and get rid of that as well and then come back to the king's cross and then go over to the houston you will actually have different variants of that so that's the widest it'll go and then you can see there it changes so there's that one there with different glass panels and then it changes a little bit to that one and then it changes to that one that can go to there like that so that's just a little bit of a correction on that one not really not a huge mistake but yeah just a bit of an oversight on my part so i think i'm going to leave you with a nice journey with a 37 which i will have the drs one and he's full as well, so you should be able to appreciate the uh, the thrash of the 37. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Say until next time. Bye-bye.